super proud of myself. Yeah, I'm also wearing this hat again. I think this is officially my new favorite hat. Um, I'm having people over tonight. Woohoo! I'm being social. So I had, a, I don't want to say it was a New Year's resolution, more of just a challenge to myself to spend more quality time with people, like in person. Like I feel like being in this industry, you're online all the time, you're constantly Instagramming, talking to people via um, the internet, but I just felt like I was lacking in like actual human communication and just quality time. So I wanted to have more people over for dinner this year and I've already started out really great. I had some friends over from my church last night and now I'm having twin sauce over. Um, and Matthew Moore, I'm um, so excited. Uh, they've been in my vlogs before, but in case you don't know who they are, Luke and Paul, um, they're twins, and they have a YouTube channel called Twin Sauce, and then their roommate is Matthew, and he has a YouTube channel as well, so I will link all their stuff below. They're all super talented and fun, but Luke and Paul are vegan, so I challenged myself to make a yummy vegan meal, so I made some stuffed mushrooms, which I feel like are gonna be really good. I tried the, the mixture, which I kind of just made up. Um, it has onion, garlic, sun-dried tomatoes, kale, um, and then a little bit of the actual mushroom in it. And I sauteed all that with some seasonings. So I'm about to bake those. And then one of my really good friends gave me the recipe for the soup that I had at her house. Potato, oh it smells so good. Uh, it has fire roasted tomatoes, potatoes, chickpeas, and then at the very end you add some kale because you want the kale to be um, not like mushy. So anyway, I'm really excited. I really hope everything comes out okay. And then I'm going to challenge myself to make some vegan brownies. Okay, everyone is here. I'm not mom enough. I somehow thought that there was a fifth person, but there was actually only four of us. So, Jesus. oh yeah, yeah Jesus. Jesus. Save room for <laughs> Jesus always. <laughs> They know, but they're imprisoned. You guys will never be able to leave again. <laughs> it's so cute. I've never seen Kai is never this friendly with anybody. You guys must just have a special connection. Okay, we're ready. Okay. No one is ever gonna be able to live up to this. You guys come with literally a, a song and a dance. Like, what? Isn't that cool? Well, okay, they're just either the sweetest or it actually is good. Because everything I've made. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know if I. I don't dislike them, they're just really rich. But they actually aren't horrible, they're just very chocolatey. Well, like, the cocoa, and because we don't have any milk in it. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Is so it's the recipe is just. But the avocado has actually made it kind of moist. Um, it did. It made it very like, yeah. gooey. And really I don't know. Good. Maybe I should just be vegan, guys. Maybe my vegan cooking isn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> no, that. it's so good. Everything <laughs> is amazing. Yeah, but you guys are so sweet. So, oh. but hey, all of my, most of my, or unless someone threw some of them away. No, <laughs> the mushrooms are good. They're, good. they're actually good. Them. You don't like mushrooms, mushrooms. mushrooms. they're actually they're good. good. Okay. Yeah. Yay. Um. So yeah, we're those people. If it's above forty degrees, um, we will be at the park. How to read? When did you learn how to read, cute girl? Well, yeah, I got that magazine today because Tracy Ellis Ross is actually my cousin, and she is fabulous. Did you know that? Yes, girl, right there. Yes, she's my third cousin because ha, Diana Ross is actually 
So Diana Ross was my granny's, is my granny's first cousin. So then Diana Ross is my second cousin, which means he's related to me somehow, okay? We cousins, and we do look somewhat alike with the eyes. That's crazy, that means she's famous. You're yeah. Famous. Well, not really. Funny story, I went to pick Audrey up, and let's just be honest, I normally look a hot mess when I pick Audrey up from school, um, but I filmed today, so on the days I film, I tried to put on a little makeup, and <laughs> they legit didn't recognize me. Normally you go through the car pickup line, and they, you know, they see you every day, so they recognize you, and then they have these little walkie-talkies, and they call down to the class, and they send your kid up. Well, <laughs> the teacher like walks up to the car, and she was like, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I, I normally don't look, like, I, yeah, I don't look the same. I don't look like the same person. Like, that's kind of scary. Maybe I need to, to I need to do more. Like, Kyla, do you like the new table I got? It looks like it's like a jail or something, but she's, she's so really silly. Yeah. and I wanted to take him to my favorite ramen place. We're gonna go because the kids are with Austin and I can actually leave my house at nine at night. That's crazy, but um, funny story. Did I ever talk to you? Did I ever tell you guys about the time that I thought someone broke in my house? Okay, so this story makes sense because my brother, um, sometimes when he is in town, he stays with me and he has a key to my house, uh, obviously, because he's my brother. So let's see, this happened like, I think it was like a, it was like a couple days after Christmas. Um, the kids, I was super sick on Christmas Day, and so the kids went to hang with Austin for a couple days because I was really, really sick. Those of you who follow me on Instagram know I was like so sick on Christmas. So the kids were staying with Austin. I was like sleeping and just like on cold medicine and just kind of like out of it. Like you know when you have the flu and you're just completely out of it. So I had gone to bed at like seven, like super early. Um, and so anyway, I woke up around nine and I heard like footsteps in the house and I was just like, oh my gosh. I immediately grabbed my phone and like run into a bathroom to hide um, because I, so side story, I've been watching all these like crime shows. Not a good mix, okay? Don't be really sick. Watch crime shows um, home by yourself and like all that mixed together. I was just like completely out of it. So I grabbed my phone. I run into the bathroom. And I called 911. I like legit was like, someone broke in my house. So I get on the phone and I'm like whispering. I'm like, um, someone broke in my house and I'm hiding because I always read like if someone breaks in your house, you don't want to like surprise an intruder. So <laughs> from what I've seen and read, they were like, if someone, if you hear someone in your house, um, just hide and like call 911 because you don't want to surprise them. Um, just, you know, you want them to think that no one's home or whatever. So I went and hit call 911 and the dispatcher, I mean, she, you know, they're supposed to keep you on the line and all that. But I was like, I can't talk. I'm trying to be quiet, okay? There's someone who broke my house. And she kept like wanting me to talk and like asking me all these questions. I was like, girl, I cannot talk. Someone's in my house. <laughs> She's like, okay, well, the police are on their way. I'm just, you know, hang tight. And then I hear the microwave. I'm like, you know, like I hear in my kitchen, I hear like doo doo doo, and then like I hear the microwave, and I'm like, are they making a snack? They're having a snack? They broke my house and they're having a snack? And then I hear like more walking around, and then it just hits me. Whenever my brother is in town for the weekend, like he stays with me, <laughs> he has a key to my house, he's my brother, and it like instantly hit, and I was like, oh, actually, I think it's my brother who happens to live with me sometimes. It was so embarrassing. Went to the front door and the cops had already um, showed up. They were like on, they were like looking on the side of the house with flashlights, cause you know they're thinking that someone's like in there. 
So I, I go out and like I wave my hands and I'm like, I don't want them to like think I'm the intruder or something. Anyway, I was like, I don't want them to think I'm an intruder. So I run out there and I was like, I'm so sorry to waste your time. And I like explained the whole thing to them. And they were so nice about it. They actually just kind of smiled like, they were probably just relieved that it wasn't really a serious break-in kind of thing. But I was so embarrassed. I don't think I've ever been that embarrassed in my life. I was like, I'm so sorry. And they were like, it's fine. We're glad you're okay. And I was like shaking their hands and I was like, thank you for coming. I'm sorry to waste your time. All that to say, I thought someone broke my house, but it was just my brother. So mm, that's, that's my embarrassing story of the entire century. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching today's vlog. Um, before I end, uh, shout out to all the people who followed my directions from Instagram. So I had posted on my Insta story that if you watched my style diary video, which if you haven't, you should go watch that. I'll link it below. It was super fun. Um, anyway, I posted that if people go to that video and they comment hashtag IG fam, I would shout them out in today's vlog. So to the people who did that, here is your shout out. Shout out to... Sydney Halverson, um, she said hashtag IG fam with a heart, and then Becoming Beautiful TV, shout out to you, she said hashtag IG fam go sis, and then Jocelyn Jones, hashtag IG fam, thank you so much for following my directions and um, yeah, coming from Instagram. Um, have a great weekend and I will chat with you on the next video. Bye! Bye.